Hello and welcome to today's video. And this video is about the Thorn Beta 79 street light in high pressure sodium. And these were used in the city of Leicester and the county of Leicestershire. But they weren't the most common lamp used because they changed the street light design and they went to column mounted street lights rather than the like the one you see here with the bend in it they were just straight and the post went in by the bottom of the light and this style of light can't take that fitting well anyway I'm going to go now and show you the light itself so we'll do that and here it is and this light um, can take anything from 80 to 125 watt MBF and either 50 watt, 70 watt or 100 watt SON X1. I hope I said that right or XL. Well anyway, we'll go inside the light in a minute but first I'll show you the photo cell and it's a standard Zonon or photo cell it might be hard to show you the information on it but they just plug on the top uh, basically live in live out and a neutral and this one has 55 looks on the side of it on a sticker and this is obviously when this unit triggers inside to undo it you just undo the clip again the shade can be removed and changed if broken but it is not as easy to do as some of the other street lights I have and the bulb that's currently in it I'll try and get it in focus this is going to be it. there we go it says Osram I think it's Violox 70 watt nav t super son t plus and it's um, made in great britain and if i said that terribly wrong you can correct me in the comments below the light itself has got some marks on it from my hands i have tried to clean it but it's made out of some kind of plastic eating material could be fiberglass not a hundred percent sure before we go inside I'll show you the top there was a sticker here that's long gone the photo cell mounting and these are the fixed ones and the idea is you're meant to point it north so I don't know when they were fitting these street lights they had a whole load of random ones or they just didn't bother and just fitted them and the bolts go through onto the mounting bracket. Right. Let's turn it on its side. Actually before I do that I'm going to try and show you this label. And this is the label that's inside. As I said Thorn Beta 79 and some other information in there as well. To get into the service part of the light, basically you have to undo this screw here. And this basically is meant to hang down, but if you're not careful, it does actually fall off. And we have the information in here again. And we have a igniter, a capacitor and a ballast. The wiring as the light comes in. The mounting bracket for the post. The
to protect to stop the wire pulling out and obviously falling all the way back down the column and basically have live in to photo cell and then the orange wire from the photo cell comes all the way in here and goes to the capacitor and then from the capacitor the brown wire goes to the ballast and then the yellow wire and the pink wire come from the ballast the yellow wire goes to the igniter and then the pink wire and the blue wire then go to the actual lamp itself through this little hole here and that's about it really some other information on there um, everything seems to be made in the UK and I'm going to try now and show you the information on the ballast as it's mounted sideways on there we go it just falls off this is almost impossible to do hope you can read that it's a thorn 240, 250, 50 hertz wiring diagram and some other information on there. Well, anyway, what I'm going to do now is um, put the light back together and then we're going to fire it up. So bear with me and I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to pause. Now, before I start this light, I thought I'd just show you a size comparison. The bulb that's in it is an Osram 70 watt high pressure sodium lamp on a E27 base. And then I also have a 150 watt sodium lamp that I've shown in another video on startup. And that's the difference in size. Now, obviously, this lamp is for a bigger street light, so you can see how the scale just goes up and up and up on these. For a bit more of a comparison, I've got a remote control. Whoops, a games controller. And what most people know nowadays, obviously, a mobile phone, and this is one of the larger ones. And even so, it's tiny compared to this lamp. And this is the smallest light they do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this light back together. Now the shade has a few strange marks on it. It's got, it's got some scratches and cracks in it. But the interesting is this cloudy part that runs around here. And then it has a clear rectangle in the middle to deflect the light into the road and outwards and not towards the people's houses. Anyway, I'll set up this now and we'll fire up this light. On three. One, two, three. I'm going to let this warm up because these street lights only take about a minute. If you want to fast forward it, you can. But there we go. I'd say it's already up to about half brightness. The interesting orange light that it gives out. Obviously it gives out a better lighting than the original low pressure sodium lamps. But it's still orange. And 
and when these get older they do go they get they do get a sort of darker red ready creamy sort of color and when they're old they often cycle as well on a previous video i've shown the ones on the m1 motorway that are currently being changed for led the they've worked the way down now to um the services with this uh, with the actual lights into the services now being done and the center lights now literally go all the way up to junction 21 as you enter the motorway so in a couple of weeks time they will all be led between junctions 21 and 21a of the m1 and the beginning of the M69. Anyway, we're starting to get that shimmering on the camera from the lamp itself. And I'd say that it is now up to full brightness. It will probably get a bit brighter, but it's unlikely. You won't be able to tell. Some interesting characteristics for this light is some of the light actually does actually come out the top. The metal things inside can be removed. And I suppose the only thing left to do is to remove the photo cell cover and let this light turn off. Of course this light was replaced and are still being replaced by the Amperes in the county and in the city they use a different type of LED light. I have noticed now that they're, they're actually fitting on the newer street lights now they're fitting like a tag around the pole and to the light so when these lights new led lights get hit the rather heavy metal light doesn't actually come off it actually hangs on the post anyway as i said i'm going to remove the cover now and we'll let the photo cell do its job and turn this light out I'd like to say thank you for watching please like and subscribe and if there's any other types of light you want me to show please let us know in the comments below and thanks again for watching and goodbye